Hey everybody, my name is Ivica, thank you so much for joining me on my latest Roblox Studio beginner tutorial that will show you how you can freeze objects or parts in place. By freezing, I don't mean it freezing like with ice, but freeze it as if they should be staying in place. Now, as you can see, I have my object right here. It's a red brick and it's suspended in the air. However, when I start my game, you immediately see that it falls down. So in many other development ecosystems, you'd be using some kind of gravity system or whatnot to kind of turn out gravity for this particular object. But in case of Roblox Studio, there is a shortcut here. If you go into your home tab, you have your select move scale rotate with your selected object, which is the red brick. All you need to do is click on anchor. Once you do that, you get the explanation toggle whether an object is immovable by physics. You're basically turning off physics. So when I enter my game, the object is right there, suspended in mid air. Now there is a sort of a glitch where you select it first. You kind of could get that it's grayed out, but you just need to deselect it and then select it again, either through your explorer or directly through the viewport and then the anchor option will be there. So I now turned it off. And once I enter my match, the brick is again falling. Very simple, very easy, very straightforward. But this moment of not having the anchor active can kind of confuse creators. So just deselect it, select it again, either through Explorer or through your um, viewport. And then the anchor option will again be active. Very simple, very easy, very straightforward. So hopefully this tutorial was the same. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you found it useful and interesting. If you did, please consider supporting me through a range of means. You can check out my Patreon page. You can check out my channel memberships. You can check out my books on Amazon. Links to all of those are right there in the description below. But of course, the cheapest, easiest, fastest way to support me, just subscribe to this channel, leave a like on this video and be here for my new tutorials. That's all for me. Thanks for being here. Have a great day. Have loads of fun in your Roblox Studio Adventures and I'll see you on my next tutorial. Until then, goodbye.